This is a beeswax candle. It could take a colony or hive of honeybees weeks to make this much wax. The type of sheet of wax that it, this candle is made of is the same type of sheet of wax that beekeepers use to let, help their honeybees get started on their new honeycombs. When you open up wax, make sure that you smell it. This honeybee wax smells so good. So bees eat nectar and pollen from flowers. This white string that we're putting into the middle of our candle here is called a wick, and you want to squeeze the wax around that wick to make it hold really still in the middle of your candle so that you can roll the wax around that wick to make a bees wick wax candle. So honeybees process the nectar that they collect into honey and they store it into the, in the wax honeycombs that they make. You'll notice that the pattern on the sheet of beeswax is a whole bunch of six-sided shapes. A six-sided shape is called a hexagon and they make hexagonal based prisms to, and fill them with honey for storage. Wax and honey can be a lot of different colors depending on the type of flowers that the bees were visiting for nectar and pollen. As you're rolling that wax around your wick, you wanna really squeeze it in tight so that you don't have a lot of air gaps so that when, it, when the candle is burning and the wax starts to melt, you don't want it to come flowing out the sides of your candle. So you can really push that wax in with your warm hands to help form your candle. So the type of bee that made this beeswax is a honeybee, but it turns out that around the world there are more than 20,000 different species of bees. And even just in the United States, there are about 4,000 different species of bees. And they can be a wide variety of sizes. They can be as small as a sesame seed, or a honeybee is about an inch long, and the biggest bee in the world has a wingspan that's about two and a half inches wide. It's almost as big as a hummingbird, and it lives in Indonesia. There are a lot of really interesting things about bees. Not only do bees make honey and beeswax, but they are also responsible for pollinating one out of every three bites of food that we eat. So we really owe a lot to bees. When we started making beeswax candles, we started having a lot of questions. We wondered if you had two candles that both have the same amount of wax, we wondered whether one would burn longer than the other, depending on what shape it was. So we wondered what shape candle burns longest. Maybe you have a hypothesis. Do you think a taller candle would burn longer than a shorter candle? It's good to make a hypothesis before you do a test. So make a guess about which one you think will burn longer, taller or shorter. And then we'll do a test to find out which burns longer. So to make this quick to watch, we did a time-lapse video. It really took quite a while for these two candles to burn down, but we wanted you to be able to see it quickly. And you can see that they were going along at about the same rate until the tall candle sort of had a dam burst and the wax flowed out. And in the end, the shorter candle actually burned longer. But this isn't really a great test because we only tested it one time. A good test would test this over and over. So we wonder if this is true of other candles. But it was fun to test and the beeswax smells delicious. And thank you, bees.